2009 Mazda 6 going to be replacing these headlight assemblies that are all yellowed out and hazy with a new set. So I'll show you how to do that. So to gain access to the headlight assemblies, we're probably going to have to take this bumper and uh, either pull it all the way off or move it forward so we can get access to the bolts holding the assembly on. So I'm going to start out by pulling some of these clips here. Uh, I got a screw here, another screw there. I'm not sure if we need to pull all these, but I'm just going to go ahead and do it so we can get them out of the way. And then you got this rubber plug here. So you can just, I think this just kind of pulls off of here. And then that gives you access to this uh, clip right here, which you can kind of just pry on like that. And that comes out there like that. And go ahead and see if we can get this off of here. There's that one. And this style here, you can just get up underneath, get that portion up and then do the rest. And I think it's the same with that style there. Not sure if I need to pull this one, but we're gonna do that one as well. So you can just kind of lightly twist that one and it comes up and then just get up underneath it pull that one out and i'm going to leave that one in there for now not sure if we need to but we can come back if we do so now i'm going to do the other side as well and you can see that one just broke so i I will have to replace that one. It's just so dry rotted. So then come on your passenger side fender well here. You can see we got some clips. These ones are missing. Looks like this one's broke. And then you got an eight millimeter bolt there. You can go ahead and pull that out. Or screw. So it looks like these may have been replaced before. So you can see that just kind of pops out, but I think they're usually this Phillips style is what's on factory, but you can see this one's broke. So we'll probably have to replace that one as well. And that kind of gives us access right there and we should be able to unbolt the bumper. I'm not sure. There's a couple down below here, but I'm gonna see if um, maybe we don't have to disconnect those. Like I said, I just want to push the bumper forward just a little bit just to gain access to those headlight bolts. So let's go do the same to the other side. So same thing on this side. You can see this one's missing. This one has a different style on it as well. That one's not even doing anything. So next, I'm going to see if I can reach your hand in here. And I'm just going to kind of pry outward with this. You can see that kind of disconnects there. Same thing on this side. Now let's see if we can just kind of pry this outward. Should give us enough access to get these out of here so before we start on bolting the headlight assembly let's go ahead and do the main harness for it as you can see right there you can push in on this tab and then unplug it like that unfortunately the passenger side one isn't going to be as easy but you can still hopefully reach your finger in there press the tab then reach underneath your coolant reservoir And try and get that unplugged. That's just 
it's really hard to get in there. There we go. So that's unplugged there. So just to give us a little more clearance, I'm gonna go ahead and unplug this uh, parking light right here. So there's a tab underneath, you'll just squeeze that, and then this should just unplug like that. That'll just give us a little more room here. So next, grab a 10 millimeter, and let's go ahead and, so you got a bolt here, and then this bolt here. Um, let's go ahead and remove both of those first. That one doesn't want to come out. Come up top here, and we will need to remove this one and that one. And then you're gonna have another one right here. So go ahead and remove that one. Now I think that's all of them. So let's see if we can slide this out of here. May just have to move this out some here. And it looks like we have one more bulb or socket that we need to undo here. So if you notice, you got another one right here. And then, as you guys can see, I probably should have just unplugged this like it was instead of having to reach under there. So if you guys do it that way, that will probably be easier instead of going around that coolant reservoir. So go ahead and undo this one there. And I believe that's all of them. So go ahead and pull out your assembly. So now let's go ahead and take a look at our uh, new assemblies here. So I got these, they're from a company called Depot professional auto parts. I got uh, both of these off of Amazon. I'll put a link in the description for them. And they were not cheap, that's for sure. So for some reason, you can even see right here, it says 2009 to 2010. So these will only fit the 2009 to 2010 Mazda 6s. I'm not sure why they used a different style assembly just for two years, but uh, make sure you buy the correct ones. These are also the halogen bulb style ones. I know they made the ones with the HID bulbs, so make sure you buy the correct ones as well on that. And it looks like we will need to transfer this bracket over to our new one. So let's go ahead and do that. So it looks like I already pulled this one off when we were pulling the headlight out. So you'll have one there if you haven't removed that already. And then looks like we got one right here. So go ahead and pull that one off. So it looks like we already pulled this bolt right here when we removed the assembly. So if you haven't already removed that, go ahead and pull that one off. And then it looks like we got one right there. And then it looks like this was the other one. So you'll have three holding this uh, bracket on here. So go ahead and take that off. And then looks like that just kind of pulls out of there. On this side it just kind of pops off there like that and then it looks like we will need to remove these little uh, clips for your screws because they do not include that so you'll need to remove these and then for these you can get behind them just kind of slide them off there. With a flathead screwdriver. Um, just go around and do, do all of these. I think that's all of them. And then you can transfer those over to your new assembly. I went ahead and just cut the plastic. Uh, that way I don't scratch it all up when I go to install it. 
So then just go ahead and get these into place onto your new assembly. So you'll have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of those that you'll need to transfer over. So now let's see if we can get this bracket on here. So transfer that over. And again, I'll kind of slide it onto this portion here. And then this goes in there like that. And then this is where it kind of snaps in right there. So snaps into place like that. So now let's just go ahead and put all these in. These three. And tighten those up. So now we're gonna have to transfer all the bulbs in that. So I just like to flip it upside down so they match. So you can go ahead and pull this, you just twist it out. Stick that one in there. And then, looks like we need to unplug this. This does come with a new connector on that, but we need to reuse this portion here along with this bulb. So unplug that there, and then you can just unsnap that. And looks like we will need to undo this connector. So if you take a, just gonna try flatheads, see if we can pop this kind of off of there, like that, and then undo it right here, and you can untwist this bulb, stick that onto your new assembly, get that tucked back into there, this back into here, snap this in right here just like that and then lastly your actual headlight so this you'll just untwist the cap off of there and then you got your bulb in there so you'll just unplug this pull that off of there and then you got this connector in here so what you want to do so you can see the spring you're going to push in and then that just kind of rotates like that pull out your bulb here and you can transfer that to your new one same thing go ahead and stick that one in there you got to get that in there just right We'll bring this down and then just kind of press that down underneath that little tab there and that holds that in. Grab your plug in right there, push that down and then go ahead and get this lined up correctly like that, twist it on. That's all there is. If you guys take a look, whoever replaced the headlights on this before, you can see they just left the old bulb inside of here. See it right there? So now let's get our new assembly. Go ahead and drop this into place. Go ahead and connect these before I forget. Let's 
go ahead and get this set in here. So you can line up like this little notch will go into there. And it looks like, okay, so I shouldn't have put that on yet. So let me take that off real quick. So I was wrong on that. And let me just make sure I'm not wrong on this other one too then. So that one there doesn't matter. So if you do this one and that one, you'll be all right. So then go ahead and get this. Slid in here. Like that. And I'll just go ahead and get this one started on here. And then same with this one here. tight along with these two right here and then we already did that one when we put this bracket on same with this one here so we should be good right there so I'm going to go ahead and leave this one just like it is I'm not going to peel the plastic or any of that off until we get the bumper back into place so I'm going to go ahead and do the driver's side. Um, I guess I'll probably record that just in case there's anything different on that one. So as you saw on the driver's side one, for this one, I'm just going to remove this one here. Same with this one. And then these two out here. And I'm connect my parking or marker light right here. I didn't do that on this side. Just a little more room. And then of course these two right here. And for some reason this one's hard to get out. So just use a magnet like I did on the other side there. So now we should be able to slide this out and do our wire connector again. So this one is harder to get out, I'll show you. So on this one, there's not enough slack in the wire to really uh, pull it out and unplug it. So you gotta do it from right here. So if you can get your fingers in there Another thing you can do, if you can't get that unplugged, just go ahead and twist the bulb out like that. And then you can go ahead and unplug it. it might be a little bit easier like that. So now we should be able to get this out of here. So I'll go ahead and get this one all transferred over. It's gonna be the same as the last one, so I'm not gonna record that. Okay, so I got that all transferred over. Same exact thing as the other side. So let's go ahead and get this set in here. like I forgot one of them clips so let me grab that let's get that into place let's go ahead and tighten all these up again next you can go ahead and plug in your uh, marker light 
Get that plugged in down there. Make sure that clicks into place. It's just hard to get your hands down in here. There we go, I think I'm on there now. Just pull on it, make sure it click, gets uh, clicked in there. This one. There we go. So those are all plugged in. So now before we go ahead and start putting the bumper back on, let's just make sure they work and everything, our signals, our uh, low beams, and then also our high beams. Let's go ahead and turn those on. You see there's our low beam same with the other side let's try the highs high beams those are both working now we'll try the hazard and you can see both uh, turn signals or hazards are working So now I'll go ahead and just peel this plastic off. Just be careful. Like I said, with the bumper right here, don't want to do any damage to your new lights. I'll go ahead and do the same the other side. So now let's see if we can get this kind of put back into place. Just be careful of your lenses here. You have to scratch them. And be sure to plug this other uh, parking light in as well. Get that kind of pushed in there like that. Check the other side. Then just kind of give it a push. Same with this side. This should click in there. There we go. And then just go ahead and hit on the side. Pop those back into place. So then you go ahead and get all these put back into place up here. So for these uh, ones with the rubber, those just kind of go in there. And then just snap that back down. Same with this side here. like that and then what you do is you can see there's a little notch on the bottom that's just gonna slide into that notch right there so like that same with this one here that's all that does and you got these two right here And your two Phillips ones. And then of course these two small ones. I'm just putting some new ones in on those. It's just like a Christmas tree style one. Put those in there. Like that. And then come over to your fender here, get your eight millimeter put back in. I already uh, put one of these clips back in. I just have a few laying around. I just went ahead and used a couple new ones. It's just this style here, it's a little easier. That in, and then another one here. And let me grab a different one.
And so that's all there is to it. Again, this was a 2009 Mazda 6. Went ahead and replaced both headlight assemblies. You can just see how much better that looks. And it's going to be so much better at nighttime because those old headlight lenses, you can barely see the headlights through them. So pretty simple job to do on these cars. Just make sure you have uh, quite a few of those plastic clips on hand in case they do break. And uh, if you haven't already, why don't you subscribe to my channel, check out my other videos. Got quite a few on this car and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.